What's up guys, it's Edge, and today I got some more free-for-all gameplay, actually not more, this is the first free-for-all, free-for-all I mean, gameplay that I think I have posted of Black Ops 2. I used to do a ton of uh, free-for-all back in Modern Warfare 3, because that was the only thing that interested me in Modern Warfare 3, because I didn't like that game so much, but I've been using it here, I've also been using this new gun, um, which I was experimenting with this past night. Um, I quite like it. It's like the MSMC, I believe. Um, but I've noticed a lot, and this is what I'm going to talk about this episode. I've noticed a lot of hate towards the submachine guns lately. Um, and I know that every Call of Duty game has its flaws. I mean, people kept saying this one was flawless in the first like month that it came out. But everyone knows that Call of Duty can never be flawless. There's always going to be unbalanced, the unbalanced aspects of the game, or there's going to be, you know, cheap glitch things, you know, hacks, whatever you whatever you want, um, whatever you want to call it, there's always going to be flaws in the game. So, this one's major flaws are um, submachine guns, and also pistols, but people don't seem to mind the pistols being OP as much as they do the, the submachine guns. Um, I mean, you can even look at the comments here towards the end of the match, I think, after I win the game, spoiler alert, um, you guys are like saying you can't like oh you're gay you're using some machine gun it's OP whatever this is what I want to say the things that are OP in this game yes they are OP yes they may be cheap they may make the other players feel the other guns less valuable not players guns but I just want to say that's another aspect of the game that's not I mean yes it's a flaw but that's something that's given with the game it's like that it's like if you're if you're gonna be losing to a bunch of other players with submachine guns then why would you keep trying the same assault rifle or light machine gun or sniper rifle that you've been trying for every call of duty game if it's not working out here the definition of insanity is trying the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result you're not gonna do well in these games you're not gonna have fun in these games Unless you're getting kills. Let's be honest. You don't want to go in a game and lose. No one wants to. You want to either do better than usual or win. Or, or the combination of both. So the fact that people are getting mad at others for using these weapons that are the more uh, the, the more advanced in the game. I mean the uh, more prestigious in the game. The easier to use. Um, the, be the most effective in the game. I mean the reason they're using them is for that reason. And yes, while that may make it harder on the other people, sucks for them. If you can't beat them, join them. You don't keep trying the same bad weapons. You have to kind of adapt to survive kind of thing. You have to learn the game for, for its flaws and use those flaws to your advantage like everyone else is. Otherwise, you're going to get, you know, pushed around in every game you play. So I just wanted to say that really quick um, to people that have been, you know, Criticizing me, <laughs> I'm on. I'll be honest. People have directly said to me and stuff like that in game chats, like, "Oh, you're gay. You're using a submachine gun." I don't care. It's my choice. You can. You have the same ability. You have the same freedom to choose that weapon if you choose to. Um, the MP7, especially, I think, is one that people may even overuse. I, I mean, I'm trying to defend it, but I think there are. It gets to a point where it's overused, but you can't blame the player. You know, you must blame the uh, creators of the game for allowing players to do that because players are going to do whatever they're allowed to do and even some things that they're not allowed to do like hacking and cheating and such stuff like that but I mean there's no way you're gonna convince every player that plays this game to not use a gun because it's overpowered the, the best way to combat that is to either get really good yourself or use the same gun or another gun that's also overpowered to match that so I mean, that's all I have to say on that. So real quickly for the second half of this video, I also want to talk a little bit about the new map pack that is coming out um, on a more optimistic note. Uh, that looks really good. There's four maps coming out. Um, it's already out for Xbox, which, my goodness. I mean, Treyarch, I know, Call of Duty, and Treyarch, and Infinity Ward, all of them, they all have this little gay little dick-sucking pack with uh, Xbox and they all want 
to make money and stuff, but I'm not going to go into details on why they do that. I'm sure you can figure it out. Look it up online. Other people will definitely tell you their theories on why they do it, or even facts. I haven't done much research. All I know is that I'm, I don't like it. I, I think it's pretty gay in, you know, the way that they do that, giving all the Xbox players superiority. Um, it's creating monopoly, I think, but moving on from the pessimistic side of that, um, the optimistic side is that we are going to get these new maps in a month, along with the Peacekeeper, um, and I think they're doing a really good job of keeping this game interesting. The four new maps they have, only one or two of them look something familiar to a map that I've seen before. Um, Grind and Hydro both look incredibly creative and new. Um, I like the idea of Hydro, how the water comes out and kills people. I don't know how effective or... I don't know how... Um, how affecting, I guess. I don't know how 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 much of a game changer that's going to be. How much that's going to change the uh, play. But we'll have to wait and see once we can play it ourselves. I mean, I could watch videos, but to be honest, I'd rather have the experience firsthand. Um, and then <coughs> grind has all these curvy um, <coughs> the uh, atmospheres, like all the ramps and such. Um, I think that's a very interesting feature too, because none of the games usually have that. And I think this is due to uh, head glitches, which is another big complaint out of the public. Um, but I think they're just saying, screw them, we're doing what we want, and I think it's going to turn out well. I, I, like, th I like the concept. Um, whether or not they executed, we'll have to find out for ourselves. Um, then you get the Peacekeeper, which just kind of milks the whole submachine gun thing, uh, makes it even more OP, I think. This gun is another one to um, you know put into that category. But again, I will probably use it as I have used all the other submachine guns, just because you're going to use what's best in the game, and you're going to adapt to that, and uh, it's not going to be a big deal. Finally, the new Zombies game mode. I don't know if that's going to be any good. I'm not super eager to try that, but we'll see how it is. And it seems like they're putting in another Zombies map, which I hope isn't too difficult, because it seems like lately they're making these maps a little too complex and a little too difficult for my liking, for my taste. Um, so I think that might be the only place where they're going wrong here. But in the end, I think it's going to be a decent map pack. I'll be sure to get that the day it comes out and probably have some episodes of that up. I know you probably already have seen it from Xbox players, what, but, uh, you know, that that just comes with playing on PC. Anyways, guys, have a lot, having a lot of fun with this game. I hope you guys are too. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like or, or a comment if you have any comments. And I'll see you guys in the next one.